Yo, what is up beautiful people? Welcome to a brand new video. It's a new day and we're still going hard on Slayer, trying to get that 95 for when Hydras get released. We're starting it off with this nice little Korask kill right there. I don't really know why I'm doing this task. I guess it's just a very chill task to do. Uh, and I do really enjoy it actually. Um, but yeah, nothing from that big guy. And I'll just finish this task and then we're gonna start timing the things again as we did yesterday. And we're gonna see how it goes. Uh, the goal for today is to get halfway through 93 Slayer. So get at 92 first and then halfway down to 93 or basically just get as much xp as possible really and um, yeah let's see how it goes 500k from kurasks realistically i should probably skip this task in the future it's just not worth it all right so i just woke up and people have spoken 500 likes and two dislikes at the very moment and 13,000 views just overnight and you guys seem to really enjoy the video yesterday, so we're gonna go right back into it, we're gonna do some Slayer, I did a couple of tasks off, off, off screen basically, just chilling, but now we're back and we are recording everything and we're gonna time everything after this task. So, at the moment, 26k experience away from 92, obviously the goal is very simple, get 95 Slayer before the 10th of January, because of the new Hydra boss release. And I want to be doing it on release and hopefully get lucky. Uh, now, some comments asked me to show the gearing process and my thought process. Obviously, I could be doing this task with Blowpipe, for example. But I prefer to AFK melee it, simply because I can then easily play multiple accounts at the same time. So, keep that in consideration when uh, you're seeing me gear. You can always... There's probably better methods out there. Uh, but I'll show you quickly what I take and uh, how I do things. So... Let's finish this task and uh, let's see what the next one is. All right, the task is done. Let's check what the new one is. Also, we now changed a couple of things around. On the top right, you will be able to see the uh, progress made towards 95 Slayer. Um, and uh, it will basically show exactly how far we've made it. Um, we have Abby Specs. It's the task that I will do. We're gonna start the timer and some people said that they want to see how I gear so I'll quickly show you that as well. Uh, it's just a very very quick process, it all depends on what I want to do but usually let's say I don't wear anything, uh, I have this tab that you feel free to copy. I usually will just grab these, now if the task drops uh, in sold heads I'll take uh, in sold bearer which doesn't happen if the if the monster drops bones I'll take bone crusher doesn't happen in this one I'll take Karamja gloves to teleport back to Duradel after the task and I'll take both of the capes to just teleport around and then if I just pray uh, piety I'll take bandos if I pray um, protection prayers and piety I will take proselyte and Varax. so I'll do it like that and then I'll take uh, uh, this and then if I need cannon, I'll take the cannon and then SGS for a spec and then either expeditions bracelets or bracelets of slaughter depending on what monster I have this task we're gonna take uh, the expeditions I mean expeditions bracelets I usually take two extra and I wear one and that should be just about everything for this task if the task drops alks I'll take alks if the chat if the task is barrage tasks I'll take barrages and that is honestly it. I'll just move this here because those are some of the drops that I don't usually like to have in this tab. And uh, yeah, th that's how I gear. And then obviously you just throw all of this up and you're ready to go. So, all right, I missed something. All right, I missed the whip because I don't really know why I missed the whip and then Expeditious Bracelet. And that's the gear. And then I bank again. I, I grab usually this and this and that's it. That's how I go. Um, now this task is very simple. Uh, Abby Specs, I also need um a slayer ring to teleport there then i'm gonna teleport to the house recharge all my stats on my pool and then i'll go and do the task now obviously this was much slower than what i would usually do uh mainly because i'm really bad at multitasking but either way let's complete this abby spec task it is always nice to get one of these um during your slayer tasks so let's see what do we get in this one there we go 2000 xp and we got a guam Oh no, we got these, all of those, but nothing good, unfortunately. Task done, took me a little bit longer, simply because I made some breakfast. In the meantime, 30 minutes, um, but we are now only 4,000 experience away from um, completing the next level. So let's see what the next task is going to be. Fire Giants, 
They're not the biggest fan of it. I'll do it though. Um, I'll just cannon it and melee it and AFK it. Uh, once again, you could probably range it for a little bit better experience. But you know, I, I like to chill sometimes. So we're just gonna soft AFK it. There we go. We are about to get a level. There it is, 92 Slayer, three more levels to go, 678,000 experience to 93, so this one will take a little bit of time. What is this guy doing? He's picking up my loot. Hey, bless your heart, my guy. Either way, um, that's gonna take a while uh, to get the 93. Obviously, the levels are gonna be uh, pretty far between each other now, but hey, it's all good. I'm probably doing this really wrongly, like, uh, but I don't freaking know, dude. Um, yeah, this task I should probably be blowpiping, honestly, I could just be here and then cannon would hit everything. Either way though, it's fine, um, we're gonna finish this one off and then hopefully we get a task that I can barrage, it's been a while since I had a barrage task, honestly, and those are the tasks that give like the most experience out there, so, um, 94 to go, let's do it. 22 minutes later, a task is complete. I'm not a fan of this one, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, just don't like it too much, it's like a little bit weird. Either way, um, boom, Duradel, let's go. And assignment and black demons again, alrighty then. Uh, this one, I'll just super AFK, it's gonna be nice, it's good, I like this task. There we go, the task is nearly done, we are now 2% done towards our goal, which is beautiful. Uh, 650,000 experience left, and let's see what the next task is going to be for us. We're slowly piling up on some points, which is nice, I might spend some time doing Wilderness Slayer to just get those extra points in the end before the update comes out, but Dust Devils, a lot of them, really, really good task, you wanna mage them. Um, and yeah, task, uh, that's probably one of the two best tasks in the game for me. Oh yeah, this is the timer, it took me 36 minutes as said. Um, Alright, let's gear up and let's do this task. Alright, the gearing process for the mage task. Uh, some people asked me, so we have dust devils, so we can take this one out, this one out, this one out. You usually get these drops quite often. Uh, you don't get any in soul head, so then I take this and then we go down here and we go boom 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 and then we go we go with these and then we go like that and then we go like these uh i usually take that actually and there you go and then i'm probably missing something as per usual i'm missing the helm and i'm missing this so not the fastest of gearing up but that's usually what you want and then to top it off you want to have these two as well just to tag things uh, usually i just take one prayer potion for these tasks because you have to bank a couple of times and then imbued heart and that is how i will do dust devils we just received the pretty rare drop does battle staff not bad at all it always looks so so nice i'm gonna have to hit the bank here though the way i bank is i just run south and then uh, i just go to the bank i restock and i come back so um really not that hard we have a 200 left on the task actually 160 um and yeah this task is just amazing for xp i just got another one basically back to back you see this battle stuff here and you see this battle stuff here that is very rare Wow, okay, that's the first time I have ever received a dragon chain body from a dust devil. That is insanely rare. Oh, and it looks so good. Oh, wow. That looks beautiful. Uh, I will just finish this task real quick, um, but damn, that is actually so nice. That's crazy, dude. I have never received that before, 1.4 million basically to the to the total loot, so really really nice. This guy is waiting for me to finish the task, that's why I'm like not banking and whatever, but wow, that is beautiful. Alright, we are nearly done with the task, this one took 40 minutes and we got pretty lucky with two dust battle staffs, which is one in 4000 drop and one D chain, which is, wait, I think that's like super rare. Let me just Google it. Dragon chain body. I think it's like one in thirty-two thousand. I might be wrong though. Um, let's see. Dragon chain body. It is a one in thirty-two thousand drop rate. So I've gotten insanely lucky in this task, which is really nice. Now I'm done with the task though, so this guy can go and do his task. Um, but yeah, forty minutes on that one. I can leave those things on the floor. I don't think I have a teleport out either, so I'm just gonna do this. Um, 
But yeah, I, I, I don't know what to say, man. Really, really lucky. And the new task is Necreal. So we go like back to barraging. Really good. Don't need to change anything. Um, for Necreals, I take a little bit of a different inventory setup, though. Um, I'll show you that in a second. Usually I go like this, I have teleport out, I have teleport in, uh, I use Draymond staff uh, because this account is not that nicely progressed and I don't have elite Lumbridge Diaries completed yet. Uh, then I teleport to CIS and uh, yeah, it, I just go from there basically. Oh, we got a big guy, not bad at all. Still gonna try to get all of them tagged in just like that. All right, let's see what do we get. Yeah, we got a Dark Totem base and some Mystic stuff. Or maybe that was from another drop. No, we got this thing, so nothing special from this one, unfortunately. All right, so this task actually always takes ages to complete, mainly because there's a lot of people doing it and also because it takes so long to do. 72 minutes uh, did it all in one go, uh, but the experience is really really nice. We're now 540k away from a level, so really good. I'll finish these two here because why not? Uh, well, I guess I'll just yoing this, I'll yoing that. I want to kill this one for unknown reasons. And uh, yeah, let's go to the bank and get a new task. New task, fire giants. I don't like this task at all, uh, but I'll just do it anyways because, oh well. Task is done, didn't actually end up recording this one because I left halfway through, uh, but quick little task, 520k XP to go. Alright, new task, crazy archaeologist, I guess I can kill three, that should be like super quick, just take a trident, monk robes and go up there, very easy. So I'm currently in the process of fully charging the Trident of the Swamp because it was basically already out. I now have 13,000 charges, but I'm out of death runes and completely out of money. So I have to sell a couple of things from our loot temp here that we have collected over the last day, basically. Uh, so we're just gonna basically grab everything. And for some reason, this is not noted. So we're just gonna grab everything that we have, sell all of it and see how much money we have and then spend it all on death runes, really. So should uh, have enough money uh, very, very soon. Sold just about everything for, well, nearly 10 million. We're gonna now buy the rest of Death Runes. Um, and let's see if that should be enough charges now. So now we have, no, we need more Fire Runes, but I cannot buy more Fire Runes, unfortunately, because uh, I reached the limit. So uh, let's see how much I can sell one for, and then we're gonna buy a lot of Fire Runes, basically, and I cannot sell it even, so feels freaking bad, man. So sell it for four coins and we're gonna just buy a bunch for like f four coins, fucking 100k. Uh, we're gonna buy it for that much, boom, eventually they will buy. And we now have this and we're gonna kill some crazy archaeologist. And task is done for Onyx Bolt Tips, not bad at all. New task, Dagonoff's very fast one. I am kind of playing League at the same time, so the next couple of tasks I'm, not, I'm probably not gonna be timing, uh, but we're 500k away from 93 Slayer, and a new task is Gargoyles. I love doing this task, it's nice money, uh, it's not the fastest experience, but honestly I don't need to do the fastest experience tasks, so I'll be fine getting a little bit of cash. I finished my Gargoyle task, and this is where I will end the video for today. Now... Yesterday's response to the video of this format was actually really really nice 700 likes and three dislikes Honestly, couldn't believe it um, So I really do appreciate that and those are the types of videos that I can make Easily on the daily basis. It just depends if you guys like to watch them It's like a runescape vlog kind of thing. I just go out there do my slayer and just talk a little bit and uh, yeah, just put a video out in the end of the day. So if you guys do enjoy that sort of videos, I don't mind putting them out just about every single day. Um, so do let me know in the comments if you want to change something. And uh, with that being said, hopefully you enjoyed. I might be missing tomorrow's upload though, simply because I might go back at home. Uh, I might spend the New Year's with my family. So I'm not exactly sure on that one yet, but I might record from home. Uh, just the audio and everything might be a little bit more scuffed with that being said though Hopefully you enjoyed today's episode 
and hopefully I'll be back again tomorrow. See you then and bye-bye.